You here to spy on me, Troy? No. I'm here on behalf of Miz to make sure you're staying on task. To recruit two teammates for SmackDown Survivor Series War Games team. So have you done that yet? Actually, I have. Excellent. Ready to lock them in? Once you make this decision, Miz will let corporate know it's official, so you can't change your mind. Besides, we really need to start promoting the participants, and Miz has big plans he wants to kick off for the Build to Survivor series. I like the group I've assembled. Team SmackDown is ready for war games and whatever else Miz has planned. Good. I'll let the boss know. We're cutting away from Cody Rhodes' title defense because SmackDown superstars have invaded backstage. Is this part of their War Games team? Luckily, Luke Gallows is here to back up his partner. Let's get back to ringside as we monitor this developing situation. Cody Rhodes has successfully defended his World Heavyweight Championship, but has no idea what's transpired backstage during this match. Well, he's about to find out now. I think this is the debut of SmackDown's War Games team. And what a lineup they've assembled. This doesn't look good for the American Nightmare. He's in trouble. He might not even make it to War Games. And there's their captain, the WWE Universal Champion. Cody Rhodes is surrounded. Hold on. Cody has backup. It's his Survivor Series teammates. Well, at least some of them after Carl Anderson was taken out. This is about to explode. Here we go. Hold on. Not on my bloody show, gentlemen. Save it for war games. Come on, Regal. I wanted to see them fight. Team Raw's side is at a disadvantage. Smart move, if you ask me. That's enough. And there it is. And Regal gets nailed by SmackDown's champion. That did not go as planned. You think? William Regal has been a mentor to the so-called Dark Horse, invading Raw was a slap in the face, and now he just took a literal blow from his supposed friend accidental or not well for now it looks like team smackdown is going to retreat this didn't break into an all-out war but they delivered a strong message here tonight i agree corey we didn't know who would represent the blue brand survivor series and now we know it's going to be an epic battle inside that double-sided cage i can't wait We did what Miz asked, and honestly, it didn't turn out that great. I never wanted to assault William Regal. What do you mean? It was must-see TV! Especially the part when you nailed Regal! Good stuff, pal. Whatever. So what does our genius GM have planned next? And where is he even? I haven't seen him anywhere since I got to the building. Well, with, um, tensions escalating and who knows how Raw would retaliate, Miz thought it was better if he stayed home this week. So, he ran away again. Got it. Look, what's more important is Regal is sending AJ Styles here for a War Games preview match. And Miz has so much confidence in his team captain that... He wants you to decide who should fight Styles. Okay. And you want my decision now? Yes. And Miz also said if you make the wrong call and we lose, then it's completely on you. So choose wisely. Good. I'll let the boss know.
After a bit of an invasion on Raw, the phenomenal AJ Styles and a SmackDown opponent are giving us a preview of the upcoming War Games match at Survivor Series. Yeah, these two will compete at Survivor Series, but a singles match can't really reflect the chaos and destruction of War Games. I hear you, Corey, but any good tactician will take any edge they can get to prepare for such a brutal match. And a counter. A counter by Styles. That holds back Styles' attack. Snapmare takedown. Oh, my. Single leg drop kick. Stomp right to the gut. Added pressure afterwards. Ugh. And set right into the corner. I able to counter. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Reversal on top of reversal. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Yeah. Boom! And Finn heads him off at the pass. Now well, that'll do some serious damage. Snap Merritt over. Precise drop kick to the base of the skull. Balor looking to close this one out. Oh, 1916. Balor brought the fight there. The question is if his opponent from way up double axe handle connects. Oh, pressing their foot right into the gut. It's got to hurt. He is just reeling from that offense. Might be the start of Balor turning up the heat. Oh, wiped out with the crossbody. An impressive chain of moves from Balor. Yeah, Balor's really in command of AJ here. Face first, lethal combination. Shoulders down. And he is saved by the ropes. Kick to the midsection, full head of steam. What a neck breaker. He's taking this to the floor now. Oh, AJ caught by the counter. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Whipped out the barricade. Goes right through it. Stopping their opponent. And the forearm smash. Setting up for something here. Driven face first into the apron. Tossed back into the ring. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh, man. If this connects, it's all over. Shotgun dropkick. Balor making Styles feel every bit of that one. From the top. Are you kidding me? From the top row. Balor could take this one. Cover. There's two. What in the world? How in the world does AJ find the will? Find the one from every part of the world. This match was about high stakes in both the western and eastern parts of the globe, and Finn Balor went beyond phenomenal tonight.
We got the win against AJ, but War Games is gonna be a whole lot tougher. With you and the rest of the crew we have, I like our chances. Same. Although I do wish we weren't fighting on Miz's behalf. I hear you, but it's bigger than that. So how about we win the match, then we'll work on getting our house in order. Deal. are drawn. Red versus blue. Raw versus SmackDown. Champions fill out both sides of the battlefield, but who will lead their team to victory? Call me biased, but I think the WWE Universal Champion has put so much work into building the best War Games team possible that I think SmackDown takes it tonight. But can you imagine the chip on the shoulder of Raw Captain and World Heavyweight Champion Cody Rhodes? It was Cody who was on the losing end when the Dark Horse became champion so long ago. Cody can exact some revenge tonight. Elbow drop to the leg, and again, nothing's gonna stop him. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. And now Styles is under immense pressure. This can't be how AJ envisioned. From the top, elbow drop, good lord. Taking him by surprise. Enabled to counter. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Final cut. Perfectly executed. The crowd is counting it down. Next entry will tip the scales in their team's favor. Here they come, looking to give their team the upper hand as soon as possible. Ah, he takes a painful fall from the cage. Yeah, he's going to have to try something else now. He's made sure the odds are above and beyond his favor now. Come on now. Is it not enough that they're already coming in with an advantage here? Is this really necessary? Effective arm drag. He's headed up. Might be going toward the top of this war game structure. Oh, look out. Oh. Vicious right forearm. He reverses it. <laughs> Snap suplex. Very effective. God, oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. Climbing up the wall now, and he's got some crazy idea in mind from the looks of this. And some effective offense with that one. Wait a second. He's going up the wall. The extreme War Games mentality is taking over. Able to prevent Styles' attack. New entrant about to come in, and not a moment too soon. He begins to climb the wall of the War Games cage. Better make your way into the bedlam quickly. Your team needs you. Uh-oh, face first. Flashing to the mat. Oh, and he hits the mat with a thud. Oh, that was a devastating fall. Looks like they're zeroing right in on the leg. Best way to keep your opponent off their vertical base. Put down face first. Oh, right to the throat. Nasty. Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's going to drive you to try and come back from a move like that. And that was a well-executed attack. Right hand, 
will count. As the hook looking for sliced bread. What a counter! Power slam! An effective attack to the leg can hurt everything from balance to mobility. It can drastically limit you inside the ring. And oh my god, what a forearm! Right to the jaw. Getting set up for something in the corner. Nice bench shot! One of the elbow counters out. The countdown early towards a shift to the status quo. Styles a step ahead. Unloading! That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. The holding cage has been open, and we're about to see a part of the handicap match here, gentlemen. Things are no longer about to be even in this one, and he wants to make sure of that. Looks like they're bringing additional firepower with them. It was now essentially a handicap match. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Ooh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Looks like the impending numbers advantage isn't enough for him. Vicious right forearm. Starting to scale up the World Games wall. He's got something in mind. Oh, drops the hammer right on the lower back. Entering the ring and assessing the situation. DDT! There he goes, right into the corner. And... Moving down. Superstar hook in the arm. Look at this rush of strikes. Into the cage now, and the numbers have been. Probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the feeling goes cuts him. Oh, I can't stand this move. This is a good way to break the curse. Counters that. Each of them are showing them their homework. And just planning them with that DDT there. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Into the corner now. Boom! What an uppercut. Carl showing no fear, no intimidation. And he's able to reverse. And now we see Gallows going up the cage now. Must have some sort of strategy in mind. He's going for it all. This is where Fink is did balance the
locked for the last time as War Games officially begins. Each of these teams calculating what their fastest way to victory is. star with a suplex but Logan Paul not done just yet blatant disrespect champion just prove everyone right i have a feeling these two will meet again down the line with a lot more at stake we'll see about that michael unbelievable until then this is team raw and the american nightmares night to stand tall over wwe